Okay guys, so welcome and in this video I just wanted to say that uh, I officially released a GitHub repository with my first person controller which you can clone or download and to basically use it and see how it works. So basically uh, before you download it just read the readme file and it will be some some sort of introduction for this uh, project but i just wanted to say that i made this project like personally for me myself so that's why it's not that uh, generic but i tried to make it generic as much as i could but i still try to keep it for myself like i'm de developing it for myself so here is a walkthrough so i will show you what uh, it contains and uh, basically how to use it so after you download the project you should get something like this you should have a uh, pro grids not pro grid, pro builder down, download it and also this sample scene and if you click play it should work like straight out of uh, the box so basically uh, the things we have here is uh, mouse movement so it's very smooth mouse movement also you can zoom in at stuff like in first person uh, walking simulators you can of course walk uh, in any direction that you want so it's like also a nice thing and when you are moving fo forward you are moving faster than if you are moving backwards and everything is adjustable so you can adjust it in in the script you also have a head bob so you can see here now once i'm moving you can jump it's also a nice thing and the head bob is basically changeable uh, depends on your state that you are in so if you are running it will head bob faster and stronger but if you are walking it will have head bob lower and everything again is changeable you can also crouch which is a nice thing uh, because this one is a smooth crouch so it doesn't snaps you, snaps you down it basically makes your character crouch smoothly so what else can you do uh, when you move right and left I don't know if you can see it you have this nice very subtle amo amount of sway so your camera is uh, rotating towards the direction that you are going so if you are going right it will rotate towards the right and if you're going the on the left it will rotate towards the left so it also is changeable in the script in, in the inspector actually you also have uh, working slopes so you can walk on slopes very nicely here is a donut or oh, I, I don't know torus you call it and you can see that it works very smoothly on it one more thing uh, that is also you can walk on stairs so this is also nice some people don't like this uh, jerky not it's not jerky but uh, you can see that it moves up uh, every I don't know half a second but uh, some people depends uh, uh, like they prefer the smooth movement and the the I, I think that the normal way to approach it like in games they make a custom mesh collider which has basically the smooth uh, smooth plane not not this like stairs it just has the smooth plane and it will be working under the hood like this slopes here but visually it will look like stairs so this is the uh, solution that you can use if you don't like this but i i personally like this because it it gives you this feeling that you are walking on the stairs so uh, if you jump down from the uh, very high height uh, you can see that it has this landing animation uh, which is scripted in code so it will 
move your head down and then it will move up. If I jump into place, it will also do it, but it will be more subtle, like here, as you can see. But if I jump from here, it will make it go down even more. So it's also a nice thing. Another uh, feature is that it's not a feature, <laughs> but if you run towards the, the wall, it will stop your head bob and you can't actually move more towards the wall and it will detect uh, if you are hitting the wall. But if you are moving from the sides and you want to move forward, your head bob will still work. But if you move like right now, like to the right, it will detect that you are hitting the wall and it will stop the head bob. But if you are moving the forward, it will work. So it's also a nice thing. So that is it from the features. And I see that I have, uh, I have a uh, null exception, which is very in interesting. Or it's not null, it doesn't matter. It's some kind of error, I will fix it later. And I forgot about one thing. You can, uh, if you are running, it will change your uh, field of view. I don't know if you could see it, but uh, I can, you just have to look at the grid. So if I move like this, they look normally, but if I run, they will stretch a bit. So it will give you the feeling that you are speeding up. And it's, this is also nice because you are not speeding up immediately. It will slowly lerps towards the car, like your uh, desired speed. So now let's walk through the script. So uh, first I have to talk about how the game object is structured. So if I, if we click on the first person character, uh, you can click on those drop downs and uh, you see that we have four, basically four game objects that this first person uh, character is made of. So the, let's start from the child, child as child. So you have a main camera, which has a script that is responsible for camera briefing. Yeah, and we have a feature for camera briefing. I forgot about that. So if, if you are idling, you can see that there's a brief animation here, very subtle. And it's like, it, it gives you a lot of a good feeling because your character is not basically looking in one direction all the time. It moves very slightly. So it's a very nice thing, very nice, uh, small polish thing. So now let's, uh, back, let's go back to the hierarchy. So you have a main camera, which has the script camera briefing, uh, which is responsible for briefing. And we, we have to structure it that way because it will not work otherwise. So uh, above that, we have a camera pivot. So basic, basically camera pivot is the point that is responsible for rotating our camera on, on the X axis. So it will rotate your view up and down like this. And above that, we have camera holder, which has the script that is responsible for all the camera work. So you have here the sensitivity um, and other stuff like run field, of view, run field of view. You also have the sway amount so it can sway your character to the right or to the left. Uh, and also it has sensitivity, smooth amount and also the look angle. And this game object is responsible for rotating or like all the movement, it it just it is a manager for all the game objects that are below it, and its main purpose is to rotate on the y axis. So basically, it will rotate left and right like this, and we don't have one game object that is rotating on 
y axis and on the x axis because it's better to keep those separate and it uh, prevents you from some like very from some bugs and so from if i remember correctly from uh, gimbal lock if i remembered correctly so it basically to keep it's basically better to keep everything separate it's easier uh, to manage and it's easier to debug basically so above that we have a first person controller which is basically our controller so it is responsible for moving our character and we have a camera uh, which is below that because we want our camera to move where our first person controller is so this first person controller has a very big script which handles a lot of stuff so it is uh, it is basically responsible for movement of the player but it is also responsible for i don't know for the he head bobbing and other stuff so yeah it, it is a big script and i will try to make a tutorial from it but not now because i have a lot of stuff going on right now but you can see uh, here I have the inspector that you can see all the parameters or all the variables and you can see that let me scroll down you have this parameter which is called current speed and you have also the smooth current speed below that so if I click backwards you can see that the current speed is one and a half and if I move forward it is free but Let's take a look at smooth current speed because you can see that this is not changing uh, immediately it is lerping slowly towards that and that gives you a very nice feeling of this first person character controller and now i exaggerated this way so you, you can see that if i click right it will rotate our camera left and right so it's very smoothly so it's also nice so guys that i think that will be it for this video uh, let me let me revert the things that i did and you can play with it and just try to check it out guys and if you have any any suggestions how can i improve it or you found some bugs uh, just let me know in the comments and I will try to fix them and I will update the project then. So guys, thank you for watching. Try it out. I will link the GitHub video, <laughs> GitHub link in the description. And yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Goodbye.